Um, when you got outside the pocket today, it seems like you were able to make stuff happen, and uh, it seems to be kind of your MO after the you know, after the first game against Edinburgh, you did well. Is that kind of something you came into this game kind of looking to do if you're able to get out of the pocket? Were you eager, or were you more focused on staying in the pocket for as long as you could? Obviously, you like to stay in the pocket as long as you can, but they're front, they're big, fast, strong, so obviously I had to make some plays when I could. To both of you, to have the opportunity to see you guys ahead of the school uh, and the scoreboard, just what emotions did that bring out of you guys as a team? Uh, I think for us, you know, coming to this game, you know, obviously going to be a lot of you know chatter, outside noise about you know FCS school, playing FBS school, and you know, obviously we hear, but we don't really listen to it, you know, tune that out. We knew we could come in, compete with them, and I think we showed that in the first quarter, first half. And I think for the whole season, I think we could go out there and compete with anybody. Yeah, um, obviously it's an FBS team, but anybody can get beat. Um, obviously not everything goes your way, but our team fought hard for the end. What did each of you guys do during the uh, rain delay to kill the two hours? Had some food, uh, tried to stay loose, you know, talk to teammates, you know, just tried to hang out with them, create some more chemistry, just vibe with them, and try to just enjoy our time here. We're just enjoying the experience, stretching, staying ready. How tough were the emotions and the delay? Obviously, there was some excitement, but to not know when you're going back out there and just deal with the ebbs and flows that those two hours were. I mean, uh, it was definitely tough for a little bit. I think we had a lot of momentum, you know, rolling there through the first quarter, hanging the second quarter, you know, also, I'm not gonna use that as an excuse because you know I always gotta come out and play. But that rain delay, you know, started like with 30 minutes, once an hour, and I got pushed back even more. You know, we had to come back out, you know, redo everything. Again, not an excuse, but I definitely think you know, kid a little bit of momentum there for us. Was there anything that surprised you about uh, the how West Virginia came out against you guys? I guess particularly on offense, seeing uh, Clement come out with three touchdowns in the first half. Uh, I say for I knew was well, the defense. We knew after their game against Penn State, the losing that game, they're gonna come try and you know test us. You know FCS school try to test us, gain some momentum back, get their next week matchup. But I mean, as far as like you know, props to him scoring his touchdowns. But we were planning on stopping the run. That was our main focus, stopping the run. You know they wanted to come out, drive the ball down us. And I think defensively, you know in that first quarter, the first half, I think we did a good job. But they just pulled away. So. You had 10 tackles today, too. Just That was a career high for you. Just what did you see that allowed you to have that breakthrough tonight? Uh, honestly, just playing safety my whole life, you know, just being able to, you know, see the whole field. I think as a safety, you know, just back there, especially free safety, you're just free the whole time. You're unblocked a lot of times, you know. Just being able to read, like I said, when they try to run the ball down, down our throats, you know, just being able to read, run, be able to come down, and I feel like I can make plays, so that's what they really do. Darius, what was it like connecting with Teddy particularly tonight? You had the connection with DJ from last game, but really Teddy rose through that the second half, especially tonight. Yeah, um, obviously they played a lot of zone today. Um, coverage breakdowns, uh, they did a great uh, the yards after catch. Um, they just made my job a lot easier. How was it seeing that deep ball tonight and understanding that that was there for at least a lot of that first half tonight? Yeah. Um, that was a, a big point um, that we went through all week. Uh, that was probably their weak links on their team, the secondary. But um, obviously they were a great team. Uh, a good experience for us. Um, just get ready this week. A loss is a loss. You haven't had much time to think about the loss, but how do you feel that you're a better football team than when you first came into Morgantown tonight? Uh, I think a lot of people doubted us, to be honest. Uh, I think we showed a lot of people what we could do. I'm ready for sure. You know, like I always say, you know, FBS, FBS matchup, you know, everyone's, you know, looking, you know, at a blowout, you know, not expecting, you know, the FCS team to come and compete. And I think, you know, I'm going to keep saying that first quarter, first half, I think we showed a lot of people, like, you know, what Duquesne can really do. Because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they'll mess with us, like, Duquesne, like, they're not a real school, all this. But I really think we came out here against the Big 12 team, FBS team, and showed. FCS Duquesne, we can really play football here. Good.